Who's you stupid fool? Did you really think you were hitting me? Huh? Bow, bow, bam! Over. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Danny Garcia, he gets the job done against tune-up opponent Sam Vargas, and now it's on to the real damn fight. As Keith Thurman would put it, this time it ain't gonna be against no cherry. Now, and I love how they are promoting this fight already. I love the fact that Keith Thurman was there to call Danny Garcia's fight. He's sitting there ringside critiquing Danny Garcia's performance while at the same time being very objective and professional as if he is a color analyst. So I really like how they set that up. It's very reminiscent of, I go way back to Lennox Lewis trying to get a fight with Riddick Bowe. I remember when Riddick Bowe was sitting on top of the world, he was the heavyweight champion, and Lennox Lewis was sitting there ringside calling the fight. And, you know, after the fight, they went face to face. Lennox Lewis and Riddick Bowe, it looked like they was about to throw down right then and there. And that's exactly what happened in this situation with Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman. Now, when Keith Thurman was calling the fight, I like a lot of the stuff that he was saying because I was thinking the same stuff that he was thinking. Uh, Keith Thurman, he noticed that Danny Garcia was doing a lot of head hunting. He wasn't really going to the body. He wasn't setting up a whole lot of stuff with the jab. And I remember it was one point where Keith Thurman was saying, you know, he needs to set things up with a jab. And as soon as he did that, Danny Garcia, that is, he was very successful. He threw a jab to the solar plexus and came up top with an overhand right. So it was almost as if Keith Thurman was working Danny Garcia's corner. And then after all of that, like I said earlier, they go face to face. They're in each other's faces. You guys see in the picture right there. Danny Garcia was pumped up, man. Danny Garcia was pumped up. Keith Thurman was pumped up. This is going to be an epic fight. This is going to be an excellent matchup. I'm really looking forward to this fight. I mean, we are truly going to see fireworks in this fight right here. I mean, I don't know if this fight is going to end in a knockout, but I truly believe we're going to see somebody get staggered. We're going to see somebody get knocked down in this fight at the least. So, yeah, man. Looking forward to watching this fight. I believe the fight is March of 2017. It's going down, guys. It's going down like a plane crash. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo!